2024 Honda NX 500 review, discovering the perfect balance of power and agility. Since its debut in 2013, the modest 500 has played many roles for different riders. For broke college students, it's a dependable and affordable commuter. For seasoned riders, it's a versatile addition to their fleet. And for senior enthusiasts, it's a graceful way to celebrate a lifelong passion. Despite its reputation as an all-purpose bike, the CB500X has been gradually evolving toward a stronger ADV focus. Over the years, it has gained a larger front wheel, extended suspension, and wider handlebars. With the arrival of the NX500, Honda is responding to fan demand by delivering a bike with more capability, refinement, and adventure-ready style. Here's our take on Honda's cherished all-rounder after a month of riding. So, what's new about the NX500 beyond its fresh look? While much of the NX's core remains similar to the previous CB500X, there are a few notable upgrades. The most prominent is the addition of Honda's HSTC traction control. This straightforward yet effective torque control system can be switched off quickly with a toggle on the left handlebar. Another improvement is a 7-pound weight reduction over the previous model, with a significant 3.3-pound decrease in rotating mass thanks to new cast aluminum wheels. Honda has also enhanced the chassis by refining the Showa suspension components. The new setup offers a more supportive ride, aligning with the NX's evolved all-terrain focus. The NX carries over the beloved 471 cubic centimeters parallel twin engine from the CB500X, now with updated tuning for enhanced acceleration. The 2024 NX500 also features Honda's latest 5-inch TFT display, the same one we recently saw on the E-Clutch 650 models, and is fitted with modern LED lighting all around. Don't be fooled by the sleek new design. The NX500 is not an ultra-focused revamp of the CB500X, and that's a good thing. In fact, we'd argue that while the two bikes are nearly identical, the NX is just a bit better in every area that counts. Take that familiar 471 cubic centimeters engine. It still delivers solid low to mid-range torque and comes alive above 5,500 RPM. It's the same power plant as the CB500X, but with Honda's ECU tweaks, acceleration is now noticeably sharper. Is the difference subtle? Absolutely. But does it make for an improved ride? Without a doubt, the updated chassis follows suit. While the CB500X was already light, agile, and confidence-inspiring, the NX takes it up a notch. Thanks to its lighter wheels, the NX is even more responsive, making it a breeze to change direction. When you push the NX on winding roads, the improvements really shine. Like the CB500X, the NX500 offers an unexpectedly high fun factor through the corners, but it's well just better. The Nissan dual caliper brakes carry over from the CB500X, delivering the same reliable stopping power with a smooth feel at the lever. With improved damping on the Showa SFF BP fork, there's even less brake dive entering corners, giving a more planted feel through the apex. Those suspension improvements carry over into the NX500S off-road performance as well. While the bike feels much the same as its predecessor, it's also a bit more willing to push the boundaries in the dirt. We even managed to take it off a few small jumps on our local double track trails. And we're happy to report landings were surprisingly plush despite the NX's limited 5.9 inches of travel. The NX500 is happy to fly down gravel roads all day. And with the right set of tires, we spoon a set of Bridgestone's AX41 tires onto our tester. It's the kind of bike that would feel right at home tackling just about any backroad discovery route trails in the country. With that being said, the NX isn't designed for more technical pursuits, and its limited ground clearance, 7.1 inches, 19-inch cast front wheel, and road bias suspension aren't the sort of thing you'll want to go hopping logs with. We'll also note that while the switchable traction control makes the NX a fun machine to slide around in the gravel, you want to keep in mind that the ABS can't be turned off by conventional means. Out on the highway, both ergonomics and wind protection feel identical to the previous CBX. It's comfortable, relaxed, and happily cruises at 80 miles per hour with only minor vibrations, although a slightly taller windshield would make big improvements to buffeting around the helmet. 
Top Gear passing power isn't exactly bottomless, but you can haul the NX up to around 100 miles per hour with a little patience when desired. The bike still feels a bit small for riders taller than 6 feet and a little cramped with a passenger, but overall it's plenty comfortable on the long haul and we wouldn't hesitate to take it on a cross-country epic to pretty much anywhere. What else to say about Honda's beloved little do-it-all 500? The new 5-inch color TFT looks great, the new backlit joystick makes the menu simple to navigate, and the updated bodywork and LED lights look sharp and modern. Fuel economy is still excellent, which means the 4.7-gallon tank still yields an adventure-worthy 230, 300-plus mile range. The fact that all of this, plus traction control, only comes at a $100 premium over the outgoing CB500X means the NX500 still offers the same great value, but better. It'll also come as good news for current CB500X fans that because the NX500S underpinnings are essentially identical to the previous bike, the lion's share of aftermarket upgrades for the CB carry over to the new model. That includes all the usual rally raid goodies like suspension kits, engine guards, luggage racks, and spoked wheels, as well as seat concepts popular tall slash rally seat kit. All things considered, that means the new NX500 is both a handsome redesign, a major upgrade, and the same budget-friendly do-it-all motorcycle that's easily transformed into a globe-trotting ADV with a few simple bolt-ons. Same, but better across the board. The 2024 Honda NX500 delivers an impressive performance that builds upon the strengths of its predecessor, the CB500X. At its heart lies the familiar 471 cubic centimeters parallel twin engine, which has been refined for enhanced acceleration. This engine provides robust low to mid-range torque, making it ideal for city commuting and spirited rides alike. Riders will notice a marked improvement in responsiveness, particularly above 5,500 RPM, thanks to Honda's ECU tuning that optimizes power delivery. This seamless blend of power and efficiency makes the NX500 a versatile choice for a variety of riding conditions. Handling is another standout feature of the NX500, with its chassis designed to offer agility and stability. The bike's lighter weight and refined Showa suspension components contribute to a nimble feel, making direction changes effortless. The newly designed wheels not only reduce overall weight, but also enhance the bike's responsiveness allowing riders to tackle twisty roads with confidence. This nimbleness is complemented by a well-balanced ride, making the NX500 suitable for both urban environments and open highways. Braking performance is equally commendable, with the dual caliper Nissan brakes providing strong stopping power and a progressive feel of the lever. The upgraded damping on the Showa SFFBP fork further reduces brake dive, ensuring that the bike maintains its composure when shedding speed into corners. This combination of responsive handling, powerful acceleration, and reliable braking creates an engaging riding experience that appeals to both new riders and seasoned enthusiasts looking for a capable adventure bike. Thanks for watching. Please like, share and subscribe if you like videos like this. Thank you.